Uh, right now, there's a huge effort underway to feed first responders. I'm talking about doctors, I'm talking about nurses, and those in the hospitality industry as well, uh, who are out of work right now. It's a sad reality for so many people. Erin Jones, live this evening. She is in Dallas with that side of the situation. Erin? Well, Doug, here at Pollo Campero, they're offering free meals to all first responders, doctors, and nurses in North Dallas at a restaurant called La Paloma. They're offering 50% off. On, and on top of this, we also went down to East Dallas today, and they have a big effort underway to feed those in the restaurant industry who are out of work. He's behind some of the most popular restaurants in DFW. Whiskey cake, 60 vines, I declare. Front burner restaurant CEO Randy DeWitt says with the dine-in ban currently in place, they're now focusing on to-go orders. We're able to employ probably like 12 to 15 percent of our uh, staff uh, this way. The rest of them have been furloughed. Knowing they're not alone and wanting to help, they've created Furlough Kitchen. The nonprofit is operating out of Vestal's Catering to cook free meals for anyone in the hospitality industry out of work. They can pick up one meal a day, Monday through Saturday, from noon to five. It's our normal, high quality food that uh, Vestal's would um, provide for any high end corporate event or something, so it's going to be fantastic. I think it's awesome. Um, I wanted to come check it out for myself. Jared Smith, whose catering company has taken a major hit. Is so appreciative. We're all in this together and just trying to trying to get through it, and hopefully we get back to work and start paying some bills. And so, Furlough Kitchen is committed to keeping their operation going for 90 days. They are in need of donations and have partnered with City Square. We put a link to that donation site on our website, CBSDFW.com. Reporting live in Richardson, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.